What's going on guys, I'll bring you another video today looking at the two trades the Pittsburgh Penguins made revamping their defense. The first was John Reno the Devils for Ty Smith and a third round pick. Now, I feel like this is a pretty good trade for both teams. The Devils have the cap space to take on Reno's contract, which really isn't even that bad. Just under four and a half million there. He's a solid defenseman, still in his prime, like 25. And they get back Ty Smith, who's a younger defenseman. Not as good, but I think a bit better offensively. And of course, he still has potential, former first round pick. Plus, they get back a third, and then after that, guys, they traded Michael Matson in a fourth round pick for Jeff Petrie, Ryan Paling. I feel like this trade was pretty controversial on Twitter. A lot of people thought Montreal won, a lot of people thought Pittsburgh won. Personally, I thought Pittsburgh won that one, and I'll tell you guys why later on in the video. But we'll look at the first trade here, guys Marino for Smith. You can see in game Smith's 21 years old, 83 overall, medium top four. So, real life, he's only got one year left on his entry level. 83 is definitely a bit high for him. He's probably more like in 80, 81, and again, I would say he's like an offensive defenseman. Now, he's still young, so he can't work on the defensive game, hopefully get it better, and then with him, they also get a 2023 third round pick. So, I feel like the Penguins get a pretty good return here, and again, I like taking the chance on Ty Smith. Like I was saying, I feel like the trade's pretty fair for both teams. Uh, you can see in-game Marino there, high top four potential, 24-82, 4.2 for six more years, so really he's 25 now, 4.2 for five more years. Again, solid defenseman, can produce offensively, help you out defensively. I have a look at his stats, 13.52 uh, two years ago, 26.56 before that. And if you look at the trade value here, guys, clearly the Devils are going to say no, which makes sense. Smith's younger, and he's already higher rated, 83. Marino, they're 82. Like I said, these are EA's ratings. I think they're getting it wrong. So medium difficulty. Again, assume this is going to be a no. And yeah, Devils reject there. So even though the third was on the block, it didn't matter. And we're not going to try Pittsburgh's next trade here with the Montreal Canadiens. I feel like this was honestly a good trade for the Penguins. Jeff Petrie obviously had a down year this season on Montreal, but the team finished last in the NHL. It's kind of to be expected. 33 is what to be 34. So uh, he's getting paid, I think, plays 37. Yeah, three more years real life at 6.25. But like the dude had an unreal season, I think, two years ago. Yeah, 40 points, 71 games there. Uh, even the year before that, 42 and 55 on route to Montreal. So I think a final appearance, you can see. Only six assists in 20 games in those playoffs, but like he's a solid defenseman, helps you out offensively. He had a pretty good, you know, defensive game until this season. I know two like Canadians fans saying he looked a lot better when St. Louis was the coach, so I'm going to take a chance on him, especially when you're in win now mode. I feel like Petrie's ceiling is much higher than Matheson's, who of course they gave up. And then with Petrie too, they actually get back Ryan Paling, who I think is still a pretty decent prospect. Uh, 22, 77, low top six in game. Former first round pick in 2017. Really hasn't gotten like much of a chance with Montreal. So who knows? Maybe Pittsburgh can like kind of find his game. It was almost a point per game two seasons ago in the AHL. Again, for Montreal, I feel like he's usually in that bottom six. I'm not really sure he's going to slot in Pittsburgh's lineup. Maybe they'll have him, you know, still go in the AHL, work on his game a bit more. But I'm definitely, you know, willing to take a chance on him. And all I had to give up was Matson and a fourth round pick. So a lot of people are quite high on Matson all of a sudden. Um, in game there, 27.83, making 4.7 for five more years. Really, that's four more years. So the dude's 28, so he's not like young or anything. And when he got traded for Hornquist, it was basically salary dump for salary dump. Now, this past season, he actually looked a lot better. Uh, you can see the two seasons before didn't really do too much, but again, this past season definitely improved. Uh, showed he's a legit top four defenseman, at least last year he was. Will he continue that on Montreal, who's not as good of a team? That's the big question mark for me. So if I'm the Penguins, I'm definitely willing to take on Petrie, who I think's uh, more of a proven asset. Now, some people think this season showed he's starting to decline as he is obviously getting older, but I think, you know, he's still a solid defenseman, especially when he's playing with some other good players like Latang, Dumoulin. I truly think he's going to bounce back on Pittsburgh without having to be that number one guy since Latang's already there. So, Masson in a fourth for Petrie Paling. You can see, again, Montreal has the higher value, so I don't see them saying yes to this one. And trade is rejected. So, um, in game here, EA feels like Pittsburgh won both trades. But again, real life, I think Smith for Reno was fair. But Mastin for Petrie, I do think the Penguins won. And so, after those two trades, guys, just an update look at the Pittsburgh Penguins defense. I honestly really like this. You still got Dumoulin and Letang on the top pair. Dumoulin's definitely underrated in game. Should probably be like an 83. Solid defensive defenseman. Second pair there, you got Marcus Peterson, Jeff Petrie. Again, Petrie's no longer the top pair. Uh, I can kind of just, you know, work on doing the simple things. I think he's going to bounce back. And then bottom pair here, in game they don't like it, minus two chemistry. But Yan Ruda, who they just signed, paired up with Ty Smith, should actually be a solid bottom pairing. Ruda, of course, a defensive defenseman. who should pair up nicely with Smith, who again is more of an offensive guy. I feel like, honestly, uh, Pittsburgh's D here looks quite competitive. And then two, the fact that they brought back Raquel. I didn't expect that. Of course, keeping Melkin, keeping Rust. Looks like they're keeping Kappen in. Pittsburgh's going to be a force next year. So I'll show you guys quickly here too what Smith and Petrie look like as the newest members of the Pittsburgh Penguins. I actually saw somebody tweet out what's kind of crazy. So um, with you know the new contracts, 
Jeff Petrie, 6.25 million, actually makes him the second highest paid player on the Penguins behind none other than Sidney Crosby because Malkin's only making 6.1 now, same with Latang. So kind of crazy, honestly. I think Gensel's at six. So really no one in the Penguins is making a ton of money. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with the fact Crosby's still making 8.7 million. He's kind of setting the tone for the rest of the team. Like we're going to take less money to make sure we can build a good enough team to stay competitive. And so right here, guys, we got Jeff Petrie. I mean, they got a stash on him. I'm pretty sure in real life he's actually got more of a beard. Um, we've seen better game faces, that's for sure. Petrie, 26 on the Penguins. Not the worst, you know, game face we've ever seen, but nowhere near the best. And then Ty Smith here. I feel like he probably doesn't even have one, but um, we'll take a look. Actually, yeah, he does. So that's actually really good. Ty Smith there, 24 on the Penguins. So again, I like both these trades for the Penguins. Next, we'll try that for another team, and I assume, you know, Penguins will say yes to both. All right, guys, so first here we're offering Ty Smith in a third to the Pittsburgh Penguins for John Marino. You can see the Penguins are interested in Ty Smith, which makes sense. He's a young defenseman. Probably interested in the third round pick as well. They are. And I don't see them having Marino on the block, but you never know. Uh, yeah, he's not. Only uh, Belovo there is. So I feel like the Penguins definitely say yes to this one. And yeah, they do. And so after the trade, guys, just update a look at the Devils' defensive core. You got Graves Hamilton still on the top pair. Severson Siegenthaler on the second. I feel like Siegenthaler definitely underrated. This, of course, is EA's roster. Then we got Brendan Smith, who they signed with John Marino. I feel like Smith might get replaced by Simon Nemich, depending on how training camp goes. Plus, now it's already probably better. Um, even Marino, maybe they put second pair with Severson. I'm not exactly sure, but it um, doesn't look too bad. Obviously, you know, they just drafted the defenseman second overall. It's definitely going to help them out. But next, I'll give you guys a look at Marino on the Devils. So uh, there you have it, number six. I'm not even sure if that's a game face or not. It's kind of tough to tell, but it doesn't look too bad. And so next, you guys are trying the Petrie trade from Montreal's perspective. As you can see, they're interested in him. Take a look and see. Ryan Palin, they also want. So there you go. Now, Mike Matheson, I doubt's on the block. He's not, but the value's on our side. They definitely, I feel like, are going to say yes to this one. And yeah, Pittsburgh says yes. So again, in-game EA feels like they win both the trades. And right here, guys, look at Montreal's decor. Looking pretty thin now after losing Weber to LTIR, trading away Romanov, now trading Petri. You got Masson, Savard, top pair. Edmondson, I've got Harris playing with him. I think Gooley might make the team next year, playing with Wyman there. Like, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great, that's for sure. So... I'll show you guys Masson on the Montreal Canadiens next here. I feel like they're definitely still going to make a trade too because they have to re-sign Kirby Dock. I don't really think they have enough money right now. Only a couple million dollars in cap space. I could definitely see Duran if he's healthy, maybe getting traded. A lot of Anderson trade talk. Hoffman could be on the move. I know they even talked about potentially trading Gallagher. So it'll be interesting to see what Montreal does here the rest of the summer. But first look here, guys, Mike Masson as a Montreal Canadian. I think that's just like a default face. I'm not positive, but... Mass and five there on the Montreal Canadiens. There you have it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments section if you think the Penguins won these trades or lost them. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.